Yeah, hello guys, Cloudy here checking in with the sneak peek for the upcoming first uh, update for September along with the developer's note which were just released um, like five minutes after I start, finished processing this first video so this is like take two. Um, the sneak peek itself doesn't have too much information so we will go through that real quick and then proceed to the developer's note which has a bit more stuff on the new re newly released things or the things that are coming. So let's see, this is the TLDR version, Divine Punishment Raid, which might be divine or very punishing, Hero Balance Adjustments, which will be on, and Halloween swimsuits, like, yeah, you read that right, it's swimsuits, again. Right, um, Divine Punishment Raid, we'll have four dragons and the final dungeon called the Apocalypsean Dungeon. You will get stuff out from this. I will go into more details in the dev notes part, so just skipping ahead here real quick. One thing that you get one entry uh, per week and you can recharge with um, rubies and you will be using eight heroes, four in the main team, four in the sub team, so probably not uh, um, not a full auto content, which is kind of nice. I hope it is like that. Hero balance adjustments, um, Janne remains a dragon slayer, also more on that in the developer's note. Uh, special dungeon where the light of fate shines rerun. So again, a rerun of an existing dungeon. I believe this one wasn't um, wasn't the stamina burn event, I really do hope so, because we had so much of that recently, I would like to turn off my computer every once in a while. Um, so yeah, again a rerun, but we get some some free stuff with it, so that's alright, I guess. And then Halloween seems with costumes, Nia Laudia, Seria, Isolette, Dakaris, Rihit, Lucius, Sonia. Um, yeah, I mean, Isolette always looks nice, and this this kind of reminds me of the Corrupted Swimsuits one, it's just, this time it's purple and not the red with the black. It does look hot, but Vespa, please, can we get something that's not swimsuits? Comes with their own motions. Dakar, Dakar is actually looks really cool, he looks like some dragon there. Um, I think Facebook had like a, a Fire Mage version of this with red colors, and that looked even cooler. I like the motion, so yeah, it's it's kind of nice. I, I dig this. Reheat is kind of meh, like, I don't know, it doesn't really give me any vibes. Um, and yeah, well, Seria dressed as a witch in, in bikini, so a hat and a bikini. That's um, She looks hot and I love her, but yeah, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, bikinis, so many bikinis, and then of course there is the Pansiron costume, which we, which was from the uh, Hero of the Year voting event, and we should get this for free along with the patch, provided you have clear stage 1.3, so I guess they don't want to give the costume to all the uh, bots and stuff, and there it comes with this specific motion where Pansy is sitting on a throne, and they do talk about that in the dev note. So that's all about the sneak peek. Let's head over to the actual developer's note, which does give a little bit more details on this. So here we go, developer's note September 2021. Um, so they make the usual opening that they will be making continuous improvements, explain more details, la yada yada, let's just go ahead. So. For the first update of this month, we are preparing a new raid content called the Divine Punishment Raid. There are three main factors you should look out for this content. First of all, the Divine Punishment Raid will be a top-level raid content, so it should be a bit challenging, I guess, uh, which will help you to upgrade your party's power. Second, Apocalypsean, the Apostle of the Goddess, will be revealed, and the system will be added in which each of the dungeons will be affecting each other. Through the Divine Punishment Raid, you will be able to experience a whole new level of fun with different gameplays. And then they go to reveal some information. So we can see that there are four obelisks here and the ruined temple in the middle of a mountain covered basin. Inside the ruined temple, a magic circle with an ominous energy is engraved. Within this dark place, Apocalypsean, the Apostle of the Goddess, is located. Four dragons, the descendants of the Apocalypsean, are guarding each of the obelisks. From the tips of the obelisk, scorching energy gathers as if, it, as if it is being discharged and it rises and transfers power to the magic circle. So basically, four dragon rays that are empowering the main raid. Um, these are then the uh, looks of um, Apocalypseon, demonic I guess with those ears, because the demons have elven ears or something. So let's see, Apocalypseon is one of the ancient dragons and apostles of the goddess who destroyed the ancient kingdom ruled by the constellation, okay? 
Shiva is a good dragon who used to care for the human beings with pure love. Upon witnessing the sacrifice, she wears allegiance to the goddess and receives the power of revenge. Uh, she slaughters humans without hesitation and begins to faithfully carry out the missions and trust it to her by the goddess. So that's her background story. And Terzio is her first descendant. It was first that she was he was the smartest and kindest dragon, but had cruel experiments uh, performed on him by humans. Uh, so became a dragon that wants the power of the dead. Okay, so he now just kills stuff. So then we have this is the battle screen with the four obelisks and then the apocalypse on rail. Um, so four dungeons and one final dungeon. You will, you will be able to use the four heroes. Yes, um, these are so f these are uh, different dungeon, different dragon raids than the ones we have currently. If you defeat them. Uh, then the environment skills uh, activated from the Apocalypsean dungeon will be deactivated and it will be easier to fight Apocalypsean. However, the rewards you can obtain will be less if the difficulty level of the final dungeon is lower. So the way I understand this is that you can choose to kill the dragons and thereby remove their buffs or effects from, from the final raid. But in that case, um, the raid gets easier, but you also get less rewards. So if you are really, really good, then you can go with all the penalties. It's, it's a bit like the penalty system in the and the challenges, except that uh, in this case you you deactivate the penalties by killing the dragons themselves, but then uh, you get less rewards. So all right. Uh, so if you if you yeah if you defeat the final dungeon without defeating dragons then you will be obtaining greater rewards and then there is some uh animation here about the the final dungeon with apocalypseon um what they do say is that this dungeon will consist of two phases in the first one you will be fighting tercio the one dragon we were talking about and once he is defeated you are finding fighting apocalypseon so i guess this is the animation when the dragon dies and she just takes his horns and uses them as weapons all right um hmm, okay fair enough uh, okay, and then the rewards, of course, this is what everyone wanted to know about. Uh, you will be able to obtain legendary rank runes, so these are a new rank of runes, and you will be able to craft two new artifacts with incredible options. All right, so um, legendary rank runes, right now we have ancient ones, so I guess maybe these will be a direct upgrade to those, which kind of makes uh, me wonder what will happen to Valkazar runes. Will these be uh, generally better than those? Um, I guess it remains to be seen. Well, more variety in rooms is not bad, but a lot of people will be like, oh god, regearing all my characters now. So, hmm, yeah, we will see. And we get new artifacts, two of them, with incredible options. Well, um, yeah, I was wondering why we are getting all the event artifacts tickets lately. Maybe this is the answer that uh, they are, well, at least a lot of them will be, or some of them will be replaced, replaced with these two new artifacts. We'll see. Um, and then some extra information that besides Apocalypseon, uh, apostles of the goddess with huge power will appear one by one. We hope you look forward to the new story and contents we have prepared for you. All right, so yeah, please start the hype, guys, because people are terribly bored. Um, all right, hero balance adjustments. Yana, well, they don't give any details about her, just that they do not intend to change her nature as a dragon slayer. She will be good at that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, yeah. So for those of you who were hoping to use Yanna in more content, I guess Vespa's answer is nope, sorry. Um, but she will become a bit relevant again uh, with this new Dragon Raid. I guess it remains to be seen whether there are more newer contents that, that will feature dragons, or if after this one dies out, then, then will Yanna just fade into nothing once again, as she did before when Dragon Raids became not so important anymore. But yeah, for now, I wonder if actually does Apocalypseon then also count as dragon? She should be lore-wise. We'll see. Um, yeah, then Pansyron's costume. So they do say that they talk about how they have created the costume, that they wanted it to, like a navy kind of colors, but then didn't quite like it that much, and then toned it down to be white with some addition of, of pastel colors and the pink to make it cuter like Pansy. And 
they removed some unnecessary design and ornaments so that's how they came up with this it still has some blue and there are the wings so and stuff so it still has ornaments and it does look like a uniform and a bit like armor with those uh, armored parts so I quite like this I like this design really really a lot and it uh, yeah I wish we had more of these kind of costumes instead of just bikinis for the characters that would be grand um, yeah uh, bum, 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 and they give her a leader concept too. That's how they also came up with the part that she's sitting on a throne and that in her personality uh, she just kind of looks down on people like instead of uh, another yeah they just wanted to reflect her personality i think that kind of worked out and also there is some basic instinct stuff right there um, if you know the movie. Um, yeah so we should be getting this next week and I, it seems that we are getting some cutscenes with it too so it's not just like you will be getting it into your mail but maybe there is like a small story to be done or something uh, bam, bam, bam. and then we will continue to listen to the feedback and voices from our radius in order to create a better game for everyone okay um, all right so hmm, yeah then maybe we could have fewer bikini costumes even though I do like them because they are cute Alright guys, so this is the update that's coming next week on Tuesday. Um, looking forward to this new raid, new molding, which means we have now challenge raid, big shock May, divine punishment raid, world boss, um, what else, real conquest to do, getting a bit crowded again. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of what we have in store, we'll see how it works out next week. Until then, this has been Cloudy. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.